Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Myself, Dr. Hilary. I am currently pursuing my master's in prosthetic dentistry, Crown and Bridge, and also a part-time YouTuber. First of all, I am really sorry that you know it's been a very long time that I have not put up any video, but I was really caught up into my PG curriculum. But uh, well, yeah, today we are meeting with a new video on. Uh, target INICET for November 2022. No matter whether you are preparing for NEET MDS or you are preparing exclusively for INICET or AIMS is your ultimate target, this video will be really, you know, uh, useful for you. It will guide you in some way. It will give you a motivation and a super positive vibe. So stay tuned till the end and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video. So now any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first uh, I would like to clear this thing that what is the difference between INI and uh, NEET MDS. So those who are appearing for the first time, okay, I think this is very critical for you to know that what exam you are appearing for and what kind of questions you can expect when it comes to NEET MDS. All nineteen subjects are important. Okay, because they will not miss out on any subject. They'll ask questions from all these subjects. At least one MCQ you will get from Biochem also, if not more. Okay, but AIMS may as an INICT clear. What is it that they prefer more of the clinical and clinical aspect of dental subjects? Okay, they are focusing more on the clinical aspect of dental subjects. So no matter that your aim is uh, need MBS, okay? This is what you are preparing for, but I would say that even if you are preparing for need MBS, you should, uh, you know, consider giving uh, INICT because it will help you in two ways. First is it will be a check, okay? That how well your preparation is going on. Second, it will give a pace to your preparation okay when you know that you have a national level exam in three months then the you know the motivation or the energy which you will be putting to you know perform well for this exam will be definitely more than what you will be expecting me ten days maybe in december feb march i don't know but it will definitely be later than inicd so if you it will definitely give you a pace and I would say that we still have 3.5 months left, okay? We are expecting INICT somewhere in uh, third week uh, of December or third week of November, okay? This is what we are expecting. Still, we have not got the final date, but uh, in the uh, third week of November, you can expect INICT and for that you have three and a half months. So I want you to make, you know, the most out of this three and a half months and perform very well for INICT. Okay, now, you know, before uh, diving into the complete timetable, which I have prepared for you guys, I would like to share about, you know, few things which are very much critical uh, when it comes to preparation, okay, that it is not about the books you read, okay, it is not about the coaching you are in, okay, what is most important, what is most important when you are preparing or you know when you are targeting a good rank what is most important is you have a discipline okay you should have a routine which you are following every day okay the fixed amount of hours the dedicated reading which you are giving okay that is the most most important part then the second thing is that distractions okay we all know that you know this is a digital uh, uh in this digital world it is really difficult to stay focused you know so i would say that to avoid all the distractions whether it is your you know boyfriend girlfriends or maybe a distraction for you could be the notifications on your phone 
so first thing first step which you should which you can take towards a better preparation for ini or need is turn off the notifications from your phone okay it will it will help you to focus uh, more okay and it will reduce on your distractions like this okay so it's been almost two years or maybe more than two years that you know my notifications on my phone is still off like I, I did this thing when i was preparing for neat mds it's been more than two three years maybe and uh, it's still like this and now i'm used to this lifestyle and it is it is very very uh you know it helps you to focus on what task you are doing okay unless and until something is very urgent you don't get distracted and if things will be that urgent people might gonna call people will definitely call you okay they will not text you so you will not get distracted by you know the uh message notifications or app notifications okay so this is uh stay away from distractions and follow a discipline follow a routine in your day-to-day -day life and i'm sure that success is waiting for you all okay there is no alternative to hard work and especially when you're doing it with a full dedication and discipline you will get a good rank right now talking about the books uh which books you should study to crack i n i c e t c for need mts uh we say that dental pulse is basic okay dental pulse is basic which we all study then neeraj vadwan is what you all study okay but for i n i c e t i would say that first thing is if you are very sincere about cracking this exam then you should uh refer to sr ship papers now uh there was a book earlier called aims 25 okay where you used to get uh this sr ship papers of all the subjects but right now this book is not available in the market so in case if you can get it from your seniors uh or uh, you know somehow you can arrange it then it will be great also sr ship papers are with you know some of the academies they do have this and they share it with their students so i'm not sure but to crack ini uh, but to crack ini cet what you will require is uh, sr ship papers and the second thing is there is a book called as uh, current dental examination current dental examination uh, by the latest version of it okay it will help you with your neat mds preparation and for your inict also okay so it also it it contains previous uh, aims questions as well as sr ship uh, questions as well in this book okay so these are the things uh, one more thing i wanted to uh, share over here is you know when it comes to books keep your resources very limited okay keep your resources very much limited okay fix that okay i'm going to study from these 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 books and just stick to it okay don't go for a new book every month or someone is reading so i will read from this and that don't do it keep it very minimal because we have a very less time and a lot to read okay and also there are a lot many uh options available but what i have suggested you for neat mbs and for ini are gold standard they are you know referred by uh, talkers uh, and that's what they tell in the interviews from uh, year to year so it is time tested books and it is definitely help you with your preparation now here i have give you a complete plan till november third week but guys what i have done it here is i have allotted four to five subjects per month okay so uh, this is the pace which you will require also i'm not sure that on which stage of preparation you are whether you have just started preparation then it is very difficult for you to cover five subjects in a month okay but if you are someone who has already you know read once and now you are revising it it will be a really beneficial thing for you also if you are post intern or intern if you are an intern then i know it's very difficult to take out uh, this much of time and complete five or six subjects in a month right but try to do maximum keep this basic thing in mind that 
see first month you know i've just given all the medical subjects okay all the medical subjects uh, i've given you in the first month and in the remaining two months you are focusing only on dental subjects okay and in the last uh, month probably in the last 10 days you will keep exclusively for revision okay the last 10 days will be exclusively for revision exclusive revision you will do for uh, this thing last 10 days and how you plan your last 10 days no it is very very important so this is just the you know gist of preparation which i've given you that this is how you should approach the subjects and also one more thing i would like to add in here is that you know uh, whatever are the volatile subjects whatever are your uh, volatile subjects okay like your pharmacology okay then uh, dental material okay try to revise them on daily basis on weekly basis okay make a list of these subjects and you know other than this if uh, you are finding general and it also okay it is also a difficult subject for many students so make a list of these volatile subjects which you personally feel and go through it on weekly basis okay it will help you because ye subjects ek bar pad ke yaad nahi rehne wale you need to read it again and again you need to reinforce into your memory and uh, that's how you will remember it okay and lastly i would uh, say that you need to plan your last 10 days very well okay this is your master plan kabhi kabhi kya hota na ki theek hai you are you have prepared well for 5 6 months but you don't know that how uh, you're going to read in the last one or two weeks you just then you if you don't have a plan if you'll go half a side so don't go half a sidely make a master plan for yourself okay and which includes more importance again i'm telling you that more importance you should give it to dental subjects and that to clinical aspect okay dental subjects clinical aspect and apart from this uh srship papers this you need to revise in last 10 days as well and uh, then appear for exam okay so uh now i have a small announcement for you guys this was all about you know uh, the preparation orientation and a timetable for your inict now those who have not opted for any academy who are still searching that you know if you have this question that which is the best coaching for you know uh, for your MDS, for your NEET MDS or your INICT, then uh, I would like to share something over here that with, uh, you know, this is a new uh, venture which I have started with different uh, a dentist and a medical faculty called as uh, MDS Made Easy. Okay. If you are, if you are already enrolled with any academy you can skip skip this part but if not then uh, i just have five minutes to share okay it is mds made easy so what are we trying to uh, do here is that first of all that coaching our other coaching institute are charging very hefty money so here we have you know tried to decrease your load uh, via giving you a quality uh, content and decreasing the amount for the course it is hardly somewhere around 2.5 to 3.5 k okay and uh, second thing is that notes are completely free till uh i guess uh 15th august or something okay so if you have not opted looking for it then i would say that there are all the important links in the description box below just go to the app check out the recorded videos if you feel that yes it is comfortable to you you can uh, you know uh, the uh, mentors or the teachers 
who are there are uh, explaining it well it is easy for you to understand then consider this option okay links will be in the description box below and another thing is that if you will apply this promo code okay if you will apply this promo code then you will get additional discount on the application okay if you are purchasing the course through application then you will get additional discount so keep this thing in mind okay if you have any queries regarding this uh, then also the contact details are in description box below okay and uh, i'll be uh, i'll be taking prosto and dental materials uh, so you know i hope that uh, you guys will find it interesting and uh, it will you know resonate well with you then i'm hoping to see you all on the other side so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video do keep in mind this promo code to get additional uh, discount if you are thinking of enrolling into this so see you See you guys till the uh, next video and uh, be very positive and energetic with your preparation.